What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this super simple wooden American flag Punisher skull. Let's get started. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is get our design put together. I've already showed how I do this in a couple other videos, but if you haven't seen that, I'll, I'll tell you real quick how I do it. And then I can also link, I have a longer video that I made on how to print these out. All right, so the way that I print these out is I just go to the picture, right click, uh, and then if you do open with paint, uh, you will need a Windows computer to do this. I'm not sure how to do it on a Mac. And then I, I can link this picture in the description also. Then once it's opened up into paint, uh, I just have all this black erased just so that I don't run out of ink because it's going to be a lot of ink if you don't erase any. And then uh, what you do is you go to file, go to print preview. And then right here I have this, if you go to page setup, I have this set to fit to three by three and it's in portrait mode. And then if you hit OK, it should kind of give you this little display of how you can switch between uh, one page and two page here. But it'll kind of show you how it's going to print out on each page. And then what I did with mine is I just dragged this out just a little bit. It used to be closer and I dragged it out and then that made it a little bit smaller because it's putting the same image right here onto three pages, three by three pages. So you can drag this out and drag this down if you wanna make it a little smaller, but if you just do it exactly how I have it here, it should be uh, super close to what I have, as long as you use the same picture from the internet. Uh, if you use another picture, you might have to print one out and measure it, see how big it is, and then make some adjustments. But if you use the picture I used, and if you do it like this, it should come out uh, pretty dang close. So. Uh, so hopefully you don't have too much trouble getting it printed out and hopefully you can figure it out. But anyways, once you get it printed out, first thing you're just gonna wanna go ahead and just line this up as best you can and just pull a measurement across this main area just to make sure that it's uh, not bigger than 19 and a half inches. So if we go right there, uh, we're pretty close, but it'll be fine. Then as long as that's good, all we gotta do is just cut off on these seams. We just gotta cut it off on at least one side where they meet up just so that we can line them up perfectly. So I just like to use a utility blade and then a straight edge. And then I just put it on a piece of wood, uh, hold this right along the mark, and then I'll just cut it. And then once you get it cut, then you're able to line it up. Make sure you cut it off on the bottom sides too. And then I'll just go ahead and line it up and then tape it. Just put a couple pieces of tape along the seam. And then we'll just do that until we have the whole thing as one big image. So let's go ahead and just get that all put together. The next thing that we're gonna do is I got my uh, sheet of plywood here. This is 15 by 32 inch. I think it's the BC plywood from Home Depot, the two foot by four foot piece. And then I got some of this transfer paper here. And what I'm gonna do is I will just get this laid out on my plywood, just kind of line it up on the edges. And then I'm just gonna tape across the top. And then I'll take this transfer paper and then I'll lift it up and just slide this stuff under anywhere where I'm gonna be marking. And then you're gonna wanna put this, this darker side face down. And then I'll just set it under there. And then once we get it set under there, uh, this one came with a little pack of these little things to trace it. So they just have like a little ball on the end. Uh, you can either use one of these or you can just use a pencil or something if you don't have any of these. And you're just gonna wanna go around and just trace the outline of it as if you're just drawing on it. Um, and then what that will do is just transfer it onto the plywood. So we're gonna go ahead and get it all transferred. All right, so now that we got that all marked out, you can go ahead and pull that off and you can save that if you wanna make any more. And then when you move these, you should have 
a nice outline under there, just like that. And then next up, I'm just gonna take my jigsaw. I got these uh, scroll cut wood blades and these just let you turn a little bit easier. And then we can go ahead and get it cut out. And then for the eyes and the nose, I'm just gonna drill. Uh, you can use any drill bit as long as the blade will fit into it, but I'll probably just use like a half inch or a three eighths inch drill bit and just drill holes along the edges so that I can get my jigsaw in there. And uh, sometimes if you have like a really sharp corner, it's easier to just come in at one angle and then come in at another angle. But uh, for most of this stuff, you should be able to get around it. Just do it nice and slow. And yeah, we can go ahead and get it all cut out. All right, so now we got that all cut out. Uh, as you can see, it cuts out pretty clean. You just gotta be careful um, just in some of these tighter spots. Like I said, I just like to go at a few different angles and just try get it to where I don't have to try and turn on any of these really solid corners. Uh, now I'm just gonna quickly go over it. I got some 180 grit on here and I'm just gonna cruise over the face just to get rid of a little bit of these scuffs that are from the carbon fiber. So I'm just gonna clean that up real quick. All right, so now that we're done with the sander, now I'm gonna take my torch and I'm just gonna go ahead and torch over it. And I usually like to do a darker torch just around the edges. And I think it just gives it kind of a cool look. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so now that we got that all torched, the next thing that we're gonna do is get all the stripes and everything uh, marked out. So I just got a straight edge on here and I'm just gonna do my best to center it between just the nose and then the bottom part of the skull and then through the top part of the skull. So I might just make a few marks under there just to try and make sure that it's as close to centered as I can get it. And then we'll just make a nice uh, light mark along that and then uh, you can put your union however high or low you want to. I'm going to put mine something like that so that I have a little bit of the eye still on the bottom. So we'll just line that up with our line down the middle and then we'll just mark the bottom of this so that we know where our union is going to be. And then once we have this mark going all the way down the middle, we can just go ahead and make marks off of that mark every inch and a half. And then those will be for our stripes. Uh, so usually I'll just make a mark close to the top and then somewhere down here. And then that way I can just put a straight edge on it and then I'll just make a really light mark. So let's go ahead and get the stripes marked out on this thing. All right, so now that I got all the stripes marked out, I don't know if you can see them on there. But now we're gonna go ahead. Uh, first, I'm gonna tape off so that I can stain the red stripes. So I'll be taping off all the stripes that would be white. And I'll just be using this, uh, I got the wrong lid for this, but this is like the 0.94 inch frog tape. And then this stuff is just nice because you can just pull a strip, mark it on one, tape it off on one side and then pull another strip and tape it off on the other side and then uh, it'll just overlap nicely in the middle and then you also have to tape off the union as well but let's go ahead and get it taped off all 
All right, so once you get it taped off, it should look something like this. And then now I'm just gonna go ahead, get the red stained. Uh, I got this Minwax water-based wood stain from Lowe's. Uh, this is tinted in scarlet. And I'll just be using a rag to put it on. And one thing I like to do is just to go over the tape and just make sure it's all pushed down along the edges. And that'll help to make sure that you get uh, as clean of lines as possible. And then usually with this red, I'll do uh, three coats to get the color that I like, but obviously you can do however many coats you would like to. All right, so I went ahead and did uh, three coats on there. And now we can go ahead and remove the tape. All right, so after you get that tape pulled off and uh, once it's all dry, now I'm just gonna go ahead and tape off the red stripes and then also tape off the union line and I will stain the white. And for this, I just got Varathane water-based wood stain and the stuff is just tinted in white. And same with the red, usually I'll do around three coats. Uh, so we can go ahead and get that stained. All right, so now we got the white stained. And next we're just gonna do the same thing uh, with the blue. And for the blue, I just have the Varathane water-based wood stain and this is tinted in navy blue. All right, so I went ahead and got that blue stained and I just left my tape on there uh, and I got some paper on here as well. And what I'm gonna do is just use a little bit of tape and just tape off just right along the edge of the eye and then around this edge and then just right around this outside edge and then I'll cover up the rest of the face. And then I just got my stencil here and I'll just set it on there and then I'll tape that in place and then maybe I'll put a little bit of stuff under it just so I don't spray paint on the table. And then I'll choose some white spray paint and go ahead and spray paint the stars on there. And when you do it, try and make sure that it's not like ruffled in, or you know how it's like sagging right here. It might push up on the edges. So just try and make sure that it's as flat as possible. And then when I do it, I like to try to do uh, usually like four or five coats and just do them really lightly. And then I try to hold it straight out from it just to try and make sure that I'm not uh, spraying paint under the stencil. And that should help you get some pretty decently clean stars, but you just don't want to hose it down because otherwise there'll be too much paint and it will start to seep under and then it will make them a little bit more messy. And then also double check that your stars are oriented in the right direction. So we can go ahead and just get these stars sprayed out. All right, so we got that sprayed out. So we can go ahead and remove this. And as you can see, they come out pretty clean. Go ahead and get the rest of this paper pulled off. All right, so that is how we're looking. All right, so now we can go ahead and get this thing sealed. I am just gonna use this Matte Clear uh, 2X Ultra Cover sealer. And I'll just go ahead and spray a couple coats on there. And then just make sure you spray the edges and get all this inside stuff as well as best you can. All right, so we got it sealed up. So at this point, if you're happy with the way it looks, uh, you could just throw some hangers on the back and uh, you'll be ready to go. I'm gonna put a, just put a piece of wood on the back of it uh, just to kind of, give it kind of a border and then also something to make it just pop a little bit more. So I have this piece of plywood here. 
Uh, this is just like 5 8 inch plywood. Uh, I just had it laying around. It's a little beat up, but it'll work for what I'm gonna do. And then I just cut it a few inches bigger than my overall piece. So it's uh, 33 inches by 24 and three quarter inches. And then what I'm gonna do with it, uh, just using spray paint, is I'm gonna do something like this. So this was kind of my uh, tester sample piece. But what I did was sprayed uh, black spray paint and then I did white spray paint over the black spray paint, but I didn't cover it all the way. As you can see, there's like dark coming through. And then I did some more black around the edges to kind of give it like a shadowed look. And then when you put this in the middle, uh, then it gives it, it just gives it kind of a cool look. So I'm just gonna go for something like that. But obviously uh, you don't have to put anything on the back or if you want, you could spray paint it black or gray or white or just kind of do whatever you want but the black and white is just what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna get this thing sprayed out and then from there we just have to attach this thing to the backer piece and then throw some hangers on this thing all right so i went ahead and got that spray painted I don't know if you can see very well, but that is how it turned out. I personally think it gives it a cool look, but obviously you can do it however you'd like to. Uh, so the last thing that we gotta do is get this thing screwed in to the back piece, and then we gotta put the hangers on. So I just got some of these 7 8 inch screws. And what I'm gonna do is just take a couple scrap boards, and then I'll put them across so that they go to the edges and then I'll put some on the bottom and then using my clamps, I'll just clamp them just to hold this in place. And then obviously I'll measure uh, from left to right on the top and then on the bottom to make sure that it's centered on there. And then I'll put clamp two of those boards on there, just one up here and one down here to hold it. And then I'll just put it up on its side and then I'll just pre-drill a couple holes in the back side and then I'll screw it in from the back. And then the clamps with the boards should hold it on to the face. Uh, and then once it's screwed in from the back, it should be good. And then we can put the hangers on. All right, so as you can see, I got my screws in there. I did uh, three across the top and then I got one on either side kind of where the skull comes down and goes around and then i got one in each of the side teeth and i was able to just kind of look from the side and eyeball where they would go but if you just need to put your tape measure on the other side and measure over and see how far you need to go just measure to the edge and then just go you know just a half inch past or so and then as you can see i got this is how i kind of set that up i just did uh these two by threes i didn't do two of them i just did the the one clamp and that was enough to hold it uh, while I got this kind of tipped over like this I'm gonna quickly put the hangers on I'll just be using these sawtooth hangers and I'll just measure uh, three inches off the top and then I'll just go three inches off the side and then that's where I'll put the screw on the outside and then I'll just line the other one up wherever it goes on the inside so get those hangers put on and we'll be good to go All right, so that is what it looks like all finished up. And then you could use the same exact technique if you wanted to do a uh, Spartan helmet instead of the Punisher skull, uh, everything would pretty much be the same. That would actually be a little bit easier because the uh, cutting wouldn't be nearly as hard and then you wouldn't have the floating eyes and nose and everything like that. But uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about it and let me know if you guys have any other ideas of how you can make this thing cooler or uh, just different ways to make it better. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe if you want to. Uh, I can go ahead and link everything that I used down in the description. Thank you everyone so much for watching and please have a great day. Yeah.